Yes, y'all, my cinematics suck. <laughs> All right, before we go into the video, uh, let me show you the timeline of where this creation falls on the Steam Workshop. Another video in the series Throwback Thursdays. And you wouldn't believe how many takes this is. <laughs> Alright, in uh, today's video, we are I'm featuring Five Fat Sausages Food Shop. And this is the second shop that I made in the uh, to go inside the realm of Rhymes collab that Dragon's Dragon's Lair, not Dragon Slayer. It sounds like I say that in my videos, so I need to enunciate better. Um, in Dragon's Lair collab. Um, anyhow, so this was up uploaded to the workshop on September 8th, 2020. This was another little shop that I'm just, I'm really proud of. And so if you recall back to Old King Coles was the first and, and it was really simple. And I was like, okay, I went a little too far as we all know now, as you've know, seen it, a little too on the simplistic side. So I was like, okay, let's try and find a, a happy medium. So I think I did the job with the, the happy medium. I guess what I can do is let's really quick. I think I already did this, but now that I'm making this video again, okay, let's see here. How many pieces does this bed we have? 817. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, piece count wise. I just, and I said this in Old King Cole's video, so I don't want to like re repeat myself. Being, having, doing things in a collaboration, especially when it's more than just you and another person, but even if it's just you, you know, another person, you, you want people to go and enjoy that collaboration, you know, go into the park and, and experience things. Cause you know, we have amazing creators on YouTube and Twitch that spotlight our creations, but they don't get everything. And, uh, and in the end, you want people to go in and have that immersive, you know, experience themselves too. And if it's laggy as fuck, you know, it's, you know, that it just makes it not enjoyable. So piece count, you want enough pieces, but not so bare to where it's like meh, you know? So yeah, finding that right balance and, and not killing the computer and the other people's computers and stuff. But okay, I digress. So here's the outside. We'll get to that cute pan in just a second. But this is the outside. And what I'm also really proud about with this little shop is the roof. I uh, it's not flat. <laughs> really proud of that. It's interesting. Cute little shop. So this pan there was a giant one, believe it or not, even huger than this bad boy. Um, and it was inspired by uh, Steel Dragon's large frying pan. And on the Steam Workshop, I have a link to their blueprint. But I made, uh, so I had their big, big mama uh, frying pan and like figured out like, like how do they do it. And then I just made mine smaller based off of, used theirs as a prototype to make a smaller one. Theirs was, I mean, yeah, two times the size of this. I'm glad that I, I made this work out. And I think in theirs, he had like a burning, like a sizzling hamburger, but I, I like the sizzling thing and I put these guys on here. We'll talk to these cutie pies. And we'll talk about these cutie pies in just a second. <laughs> yeah, so making the sausages, five pan sausages is a nursery rhyme. Trying to make it, oh my gosh, can I just say, I mean, you can only imagine. Let me see, okay, yeah, I know, like you're like smiling. What the fuck are you doing with these cinema cinematography here? Okay, that's not what I wanted. What am I doing? Okay, all right. Let me see if I can show y'all. Okay, let me see. 
little stuff on here. Sausage. Why can't I find it? You know what? Now it's gonna it's gonna so Oh! Oh worst! Okay, that's what I needed. Oh, here we go. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. So first I had like this. Like, how can I turn him into a character? And then I took uh, basic shapes. I thought, well, I'll make them, you know, I'll make. Okay, so that didn't really work out. And so I thought, well, I wanted them, I wanted to make a character, you know, cute little sausage characters. So then I'm like, okay, I'll do like, uh, I will do basic shapes. And let's see if I can find it. Like I had taken like something like this, and then you know, um, uh, I I put this on here, and yeah, I mean, I was like, uh, I think I saved the prototype for a while, and then I just was like making space on my thing. But like something like this, and it just looked really phallic-y. I'm not gonna lie, it looked really obscene. <laughs> and I think I'd actually also. And as to uh, like my husband and Thunderbutt and my friend Boog and I'm like, okay guys, what do you think about this? And they all just like laughed at me, like, you know, or laughed at the and I was like, okay. So then I'm like I I saw the sign for the worst, like the little sausage sign. I thought, I'm just gonna add eyes on him and you know, little mouth and and hands and there you go. It works. It, 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 he, he's the perfect size. Let me actually, let me see if I get the archer out. And I can show you that this guy's not too, not too. Now watch, I'm gonna make a liar of myself now. Yeah, no, he's not too bad. Yeah, this is a nice sized character, sausage character. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, so he's both sides. You know, he's got the face on both sides creepy. I should have just left this back. I don't know why I did But yeah, so here's the inside of the shop. And I really liked this. I think I, I have I've repurposed this a couple of times and other things that I've made. Uh, I You'll see this again in um, oh, my Christmas beer garden. That'll come next month. I think I've seen, you know, I can't take credit for creating this. I, I've, I've seen other people in videos and stuff use this in their, you know, similar things in their shops and I'm like, so yeah, you know, tweaking little things here and there, but it's the same thing. You know, somebody else had already come up with that idea and I'm, I'm grateful for it. There's my little smiley, hidden smiley face, but I want this to feel like an October, like an Oktoberfest kind of vibe. You know, a, a place where you can go and get a pint of beer or, and uh, some sausages and just go at it and just chill with your family and friends and have some good music in here. Here's the rhyme. Uh, five fat sausages frying in a pan. All of a sudden, one went bang. Four fat sausages frying in a pan. All of a sudden, one went bang. And I'm not going to repeat. Like it, it's, You can read the rest. You can pause and read the rest. But um, this is a fun nursery rhyme that I thought I wanted to do something unique for the collab. And I didn't think anyone was going to do this one. So I was like, oh, I'm all over this one. But this is a fun nursery rhyme to teach kids. It's like a fun counting rhyme to teach little ones uh, counting. And and they love going bang, bang, you know. And, and you play that up and stuff. I know my kids, when they were younger, you know, we, we do this. And this is it. I don't know what else to say about this. I have some cinematics and pictures at the beginning of this video of this creation in the actual park realm of rhymes that Amori placed in the park for me. And so if you didn't catch it, take a rewind and take a look at that. Now, if you have any questions uh, about this blueprint or about Planet Coaster or Throwback Thursday or just about anything, please leave you know drop me a couple lines in the comments section below i'd appreciate it if you like this video please uh go ahead and hit that like button i'd really appreciate it thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and appreciate all of you guys subscribing to this channel and finding the content that i make interesting or at least 
makes you laugh at the cringe she laughs and whatever I say or show I you know I appreciate whatever reasons you are my subscribers and if you're not my subscriber please consider subscribing all right until next month hope y'all have a great November 